Hey guys, as some of you may already know, we've been selected as the semi-finalists in the Ashoka Changemakers Nutrients for All Grant Competition. I wanted to make a quick video to include in our submission materials, as well as update our followers on Facebook and YouTube. There's about $40,000 in total grant funding available, which can go a long way in helping expand our current R&D and help bring our products to market. So I want to take a time and uh, show you guys what we've been working on. All right, guys. So right now we're uh, we're doing a, a T5 and fluorescent comparison test, so we can do some cost analysis and determine uh, you know which method works better uh, depending on the situation. Um, we're collecting a lot of different data, like uh, temperature, electricity usage, um, growth rate, things like that. Uh, so right here's two of our production trays. Uh, we spin, spin mold them from a high density polyethylene, uh, which is a FDA food grade approved. And uh, we have uh, two, two molds, one for a 30 cubic foot mold and one for a 64 cubic foot mold. And this is our uh, 32 cubic foot mold, which gives uh, 32 square feet of growing space. Now right now we have them configured for a two tray vertical operation. If we had a nine foot ceiling in here, we could squeeze one more tray in the top and have three trays stacked, but uh, we're only working with about eight feet in here. So uh, we only could go with two trays. And this is our uh, final production lid design. We divided it up into four individual uh, lids to make it a little easier to uh, work with and uh, harvest and things of that nature. That makes it a lot easier to work on. All right, inside here is our manifolds. They're running about 60 nozzles total. And the system does atomize to about uh, 50 microns, which is uh, what you're wanting for aeroponics. Um, here's some of our root development we've got here at just about, uh, I believe we're on day seven here. Uh, since we planted the seeds, so you're getting really good root development. You can, uh, you can see here in the video, we're just starting to get a little bit of uh, trichome root growth, which is one of the uh, benefits of aeroponics. Right now we have the uh, system firing about every, uh, for one second, about every three minutes. And as these roots get a little bigger, we'll be uh, dropping that down to about uh, half a second every uh, four to five minutes. And uh, I believe we can get our water usage down to about under five gallons a day drain to waste, which is uh, uh, pretty impressive. Um, not a lot of systems out there that can do that drain to waste. Right now we're growing uh, four varieties of lettuce. We've got some bib lettuce and ruby red lettuce, some romaine lettuce, and some butter crunch lettuce. And we're growing that on both sides, on the top and bottom, under the LEDs and the T5s. For our commercial operations, we've developed this uh, nutrient dispensing system. It's uh, basically designed to do a couple of different things. The bottom tray down here, which we're uh, not using right now because uh, we're, we're doing drain to waste uh, as so we can collect some uh, specific data. But uh, in a normal operation, this bottom tray would recover the, the nutrient runoff and then it would be fed back up into the top tank uh, to be recycled back through the system. Uh, and any makeup water or makeup nutrients that was needed uh, would then be fed through the system. We have a, currently we're using a, a 1,200 gallon per day RO system, reverse osmosis system, uh, which then feeds directly into our uh, dosers, and then we can add fertilizer inputs uh, into the system. And so everything's fully automated. We have a automated pH control, uh, automatically adjust the pH, and uh, there's no electricity involved with these dosers. They're, they're all mechanical. Our nutrient dispensing system here is uh, designed to run between uh, 50 and 100 trays, uh, depending on the size of the RO system that's attached to it. Uh, we're currently looking at uh, deploying a few other technologies such as rotary vein pumps uh, to supply uh, up to 250 PSI uh, to the trays. But uh, the system can operate on low pressure or high pressure, uh, so you can uh, utilize a cheaper budget uh, with the low pressure if you need to.
In our first prototype grow, uh, when we were working with our prototype, we were able to grow uh, leafy lettuce, uh, romaine to 150 grams in 28 days from seed. And we were using a, uh, a light, a day and night light cycle. And this time around, we're going 24 hours a day uh, light cycle. And uh, so we're hoping to drop the production rate down to 150 grams in about 25 days from seed with this uh, new setup. Uh, right now we're using uh, individual diaphragm pumps and accumulators uh, per tray. Now we've been testing out some new uh, solenoids and experimenting with different uh, uh, materials, try to get the best uh, efficiency we can. Um, in a, a larger commercial application, we would do away with these individual pumps and accumulators and either use one large accumulator uh, to power several trays. Uh, and we're also looking into uh, developing a uh, rotary vane pump system that would provide uh, pressure to the entire to all the trays without any any accumulators needed. All right, guys, thanks for watching our quick video. Uh, we'll be doing more of these uh, as we get a little further into this project, and uh, we'll also be doing a little more professionally made video here pretty soon. Uh, we'll showcase our products. And uh, hopefully here in the next uh, few months we'll actually start doing some uh, product sales and uh, getting the, the marketing out there to show people about what we're doing. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching.